Hello, this is Sal. Uh, today we'll be talking about configuring Rapid, PVST, PortFast, and BPTU Guard. Uh, there are a couple of uh, features I will not be able to use in today's lab because uh, they are not supported by a packet tracer. But, uh, and also I wrote down here for this lab, I uh, wrote down my steps. Uh, so. You know, I'll be able to show you everything uh, I need to show you on this lab in an in, in organized way. First, uh, let's configure the PC with the IP addresses here. Go to PCA, to the desktop, and the IP address of PCA 192.168.0.2 with a subnet mask of 24, and with the PCC. The IP address of 192.168.0.3 and a subject mask of 24. Now I will configure uh, the basic settings on the switches. Switch 1. Enable. We need to shut down the unused ports on the switch configure terminal or before that let us see what do we have here show IP interface brief as you can see on the switch we have these three ports uh, gig 101 gig 102 gig 103 are used and the rest on this switch are not used so what we will do from uh, starting with 104 all the way to 1024 to shut them down and also the gig 1 slash 1 slash 1 to 1 slash 1 slash 4 also to shut it down. Configure terminal interface range gig 1 0 4 all the way to 24 shut exit interface range gig 1 slash 1 slash 1 to 4 also shut. I'll do the same on switch two sorry about that here you can see from the diagram of the topology we have two ports gig 101 gig 102 are used and the rest are not used so enable configure terminal interface range gig 103 all the way to 24 uh, interface range gig one slash one slash one to four also shut. Go to the switch four, uh, switch three. Also here we can see one uh, gig one one slash zero slash one to three are used and the rest are not used. Enable configure terminal interface range gig one. Zero four all the way to four twenty four shut interface range gig one one slash one all the way to four shut and while I'm here I will configure the switch name host fw three I'll do the same with switch 2, configure terminal, host, fw2, and the same with the switch 1, host, sw1. Now we want to configure the VLANs here on the switches, create VLAN uh, 10 and 99 on the switches. For uh, VLAN 10, we will name it user, and VLAN 99 as management. VLAN 10, name user, VLAN 99, name management. And the same we will do on switch 2, host name 2, VLAN 10 name 
user vlan 99 name management same on switch 3 vlan 10 name user vlan 99 name management Uh, here now in switch one and switch three this guy here and this is switch here We want to enable the ports configure them as access ports and assign them to VLAN user uh, The ports are connecting the PC <coughs> So for uh, switch one, it's a uh, gig one zero three Interface gig one slash zero slash oh, sorry interface gig one Zero three switch port mod access switch port access VLAN ten because VLAN ten is for the users and the same here for uh, on switch three exit interface gig one zero three switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 10 now we want to configure uh, the trunk ports and, and assign them to the native VLAN 99 so we're here on switch 1 we have this port and this port are trunk this port here with uh, connecting the PC is a uh, access port and we just configured it so we'll go to uh, switch one, exit, uh, interface range. Let let uh, let me do them both together. Egg one, zero one, and two. Switch port trunk encapsulation dot one Q. Switch port trunk native native VLAN a management VLAN is 99 switch port mode trunk now on switch 2 the two trunk ports are gig 101 and 102 let me just do them together exit here interface range gig 101 and two switch port trunk encapsulation dot one q switch port trunk native vlan 99 switch port mode trunk. now here on uh, switch three we have the two ports this guy here and this gig 101 102 exit here and interface range gig 101 and 2 switch port trunk encapsulation dot one q switch port switch port native VLAN the management VLAN 99 switch port mode trunk. exit exit let's see run this command show interface trunk here it's showing us on this table that we have uh, gig 101 this is on switch 3 this gig 101 and gig 102 they are on and the enca encapsulation with dot 20 q and the status for these two are trunking and the same if we run on uh, switch 2 show interface trunk and showing us here that we have gig 101 when the uh, gig 102 are trunked dot one q the encapsulation and the other the status uh, trunking the same also with the switch one 
Now, we want to configure the management interfaces on all the switches. On switch one, uh, we have uh, VLAN 99, and we want to give it uh, VLAN 99, this IP address, interface, VLAN 99, and again, I'll run no shot. IP address uh, for VLAN 99 on uh, switch 1 192.168.1.11 with the subnet mask with 24 and I'll do the same on switch 2 configure terminal interface VLAN 99 and I know it's up but I will uh, Reassure IP address 192.168.1.12 with the subnet mask of 24. And the same we will do on switch number 3. Configure terminal interface VLAN 99. And again IP address 192.168.1. Dot 13 with a subnet mask of slash 24. So now, uh, uh, show IP interface brief on switch 3 and showing us for VLAN 99 with the associated IP address and it is up and now let's run also this command, show VLAN a brief, showing us VLAN 10, we named it user, VLAN 99, and the same on the other switches, exit, exit, show VLAN brief, and showing us the same. And I'll, I'll do it on switch one, uh, run a different command here, show run, and I'll go, with, we have this interface, gig101, gig102, gig103, and showing us here for interface 101, it's a switch port trunk, native VLAN 99, and encapsulated with dot one q and the mode is in a trunk the same with these two ports and as for this is switch port uh, 103 it's an access port for vlan 10 which is uh, we named it uh, user and and it's the mode is access now what is the default setting for the spanning tree mode on Cisco switches and here, now we, we run the command show run the mode is PBSC pair VLAN spanning tree now all the ports are open let me see if we can ping from PC A to PC C ping 192.168.0.3 and we can and there is a command that allows a user to determine if the spanning tree status of a switch for all VLANs uh, what is this uh, command we we'll go to switch one and run this command and the command is show spanning tree it is showing us spanning a tree on switch one for VLAN one and showing us the priorities and here for VLAN one the status of the ports or the interfaces on switch one for gig 102 alternative and it's a blocking this guy here and the root port for uh, VLAN one on this switch is one zero one this guy here and showing us for vlan 10 uh, same alternative this is a block for all vlans 101 and 
also in VLAN 99, 101, uh, 102, here this uh, interface is the plot. Now, if you can see, we have three instances of spanning a tree on each switch. The default spanning a tree, a configuration on Cisco switches is per VLAN spanning a tree, which create a separate spanning tree in the, uh, instance for each VLAN, VLAN 1, and a user configured uh, VLANs. Uh, the term a bridge priority every switch participating in a spanning tree protocol is assigned with a numerical numerical value called bridge priority as we can see here when we run uh, show spanning a tree on switch one the bridge id priority uh, this value the bridge priority value is a 16-bit binary number by default, all Cisco switches has a bridge priority value. The default value is 32,768. The switch with the lowest priority, which means lowest bridge ID, becomes the root bridge. The lower the priority value, the higher the priority. And the default value for the priority of all Cisco switches is, as we said, 327C. Uh, 768. The priority range is between 1 and 65,536. Therefore, 1 is the highest priority. Now, we are on a switch 1. What is the bridge priority of switch 1 on VLAN 1? This is switch 1 and this is VLAN 1. What is the bridge priority here? As you can see, it's 32769. And on switch 2, show spanning 3, we want the bridge priority for VLAN 1. On VLAN 1, it's the same 32769. It's 768 plus 1 for VLAN 1. And what is the bridge priority of switch 3 for VLAN 1? On VLAN 1, uh, uh, switch 3 on, on VLAN 1 shows spanning 3. As we can see here, the bridge priority is 32769. By default, spanning a tree elects the root bridge based on lowest MAC address. The root, the root bridge. Here, uh, we see that this is a blocking on switch one. If we go to switch one, and we run the the show spanning tree, and it's not showing us here. Uh, it will tell us. Or let's go to switch three. And here by switch 3 is telling us this bridge is the root. This bridge is the root for this network because the, IP, the MAC address here is the lowest for this switch. Now we want to configure a primary and secondary root bridge for all existing VLANs. And having a root bridge elected by MAC address, this was elected to us because it has the lowest MAC address, lead to sub-optional configuration. Here we will configure a switch 1 as the root bridge and switch 2 as a secondary root bridge. Switch 1 here. Now we have by elected by default because this has uh, switch 3 the lowest MAC address this is the root bridge but now we want to configure switch 1 as a root bridge and switch 2 this is the primary and this is the second <laughs> and the command is for all VLANs and configure terminal spanning 3 VLAN 
one, ten, and ninety-nine root primary. So now we exit to see if we show a spanning tree. <coughs> now, before it was switch number three, the root bridge, but now we configured switch one as a root bridge and showing us here for the bridge ID priority is two, four, six, seven, five. And now we want switch two as this, the secondary for the three VLANs. The default VLAN, VLAN 1, VLAN 10, and VLAN 99. Configure terminal, spanning, 3, <coughs> VLAN 1, 10, 99, root, second. Now, before this was a root bridge, but now we configured switch one as a root bridge and switch two. This is the primary and configured the switch two as the uh, secondary. Let's, uh, I ran the command show spanning a tree on switch one and it showed showing us that the bridge is the root and the priority on VLAN 1 is 2, 4, 5, 7, 7. This is for VLAN 1. And showing that all the ports, gig 102, 101, this uh, trunk port and this are designated. One is listening and one is forwarding. But this will turn to be forwarding. And for interface 10, still listening. This, let me run it again. So spanning three. And it's showing us here for uh, VLAN 99. And forward, for, forwarding, forwarding. The same here for, uh, this is on switch one. The ports for uh, VLAN 10 forwarding, 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 and for VLAN 1, it is uh, forwarding, forwarding. This is on a switch 1. On switch 3, run the command again, show spanning 3, and here it's showing us for VLAN 1, forwarding and forwarded this guy and for VLAN 1 for VLAN 10 and for VLAN 99 now which interface uh, in the network is in a blocking state we have this interface the interface gig 102 as you can see it is it is orange not uh, this interface but this one it is uh, show here spanning show spanning still some in learning state and some in forwarded state the state I should say now run the command again and on switch three On switch three, as you can see, for gig one zero two, 
this port here is in the plot blocking state and this guy here no blocking state for the three VLANs for VLAN 99 and for VLAN 10 also it's a blocking 102 and also for VLAN 1 gig 102 in a blocking state I want to really run the the debug spanning a tree but it uh, it doesn't work with packet tracer you know uh, debug and to debug spanning a tree but it doesn't uh, it's not supported on uh, a packet tracer just to show you how the ports will go on the from uh, listening to learning to forwarding now we need to configure a rapid pair VLAN spanning a tree port fast and BPTU on the switches we will configure them on all the switches and on switch uh, one configure terminal on the interface the interface the access port connecting the PC to the switch or connecting here yeah, on this one gig one zero three interface gig one slash zero three spanning three also configure with the PPDU guard spanning three BPDU guard and enable on this port connecting the switch to the PC and I'll do the same on this side on switch three configure configure terminal interface gig 103 spanning 3 port fast spanning 3 BBDU guard enable now globally I want to configure on all non trunking ports on the switch with port fast globally here exit spanning spanning three port fast default now also, I cannot use this uh, to check the uh, using this feature, which is uh, the debug. But let's see pinging from PC A, ping PC three OC, and now it is working. Now, I'll uh, the main benefit of using Rapid pair VLAN spanning a tree this decreases the time of layer 2 convergence significantly op over uh, pair VLAN spanning a tree and how does configuring a port with port fast allow for fast, faster convergence uh, as we configure the port fast on the PC on the ports connecting the PCs the port fast this configuration allows for an access port to immediately transition into a forwarding state which decreases layer to a convergence time like in the old days when you boot up your pc it will take you know up to maybe five five limits before minutes before it uh, load the operating system and you will be able to use it but nowadays it's kind of like within seconds the same 
it takes uh, almost uh, 15 seconds to 30 seconds but with port fast it will really skip all the states and you know it will be in a forwarding state and what protection does the BPDU guard provide uh, it protects the spanning tree protocol domain by disabling access ports that receive a PBDU and the PBDUs can be used in a denial of service attack that changes a domain's root bridge and forces an STP recalculations. Uh, I'm sorry about uh, with the packet tracer as I told you there are uh, so many features just to show you but I hope you learned something from today's video and it was helpful. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon in the next video. Have a good day.